JD Beck. You know him, you love him. He's one half of the Domi and JD Beck duo. He was Downbeat's number one up and coming drummer in the new drummer poll. He is a force to be reckoned with. I've been checking out a lot of JD Beck lately, and today I have two JD Beck esque beats for you to play. It's easier than you think. He does this constant eight thing with the lead hand that I've been working on, and I want to show you. Now some of you may remember that a couple months ago I dropped the Jungle Lesson. If you haven't checked that out, you can check that out here. You do not need to watch that first, but it's a nice compliment. Guys, let's jump in to J.D. Beck, Lewis Cole, Mark Giuliana-esque beats that you'll love that'll make your drumming better. Stay tuned. And if you're a stranger to this channel, which, I mean, everyone should know this by now, but we have a free transcription of all the material, so those sweet, sweet, fake, Nate-invented J.D. Beck beats that are a lot like J.D. Beck's, you can get a transcription of those below. Just click below any of your email address. That's all I wanted to say. Anyway, on to the first segment of the lesson where we talk about how to set up the basic scaffold for these beats and how they're different from other jungle-ish kind of beats. So if you guys haven't seen the jungle lesson, you can watch it after this, but I do recommend you check it out here. The primary difference between these J.D. Beck, Lewis Cole-esque beats and the original jungle beats is that we're gonna do a constant eighth on the hi-hat and we're gonna do a more modern kind of idiom where we're not playing a bunch of crazy stuff with the kick drum. We're playing stuff that translates really directly to halftime and we're gonna imply the double time with the eights on the hats and with the 16th ghosted notes on the snare. So we're gonna learn two beats. First, we're just gonna learn the structure of them. From the jungle lesson, you may recall something like the clocks beat from Coldplay. So we're gonna reverse that and we're gonna play something starting with the kick drum but that has the same sort of loop to it. And that's this. Couple of details for this. Number one, you wanna make sure you're playing from the fingers with these hat notes. You're not playing from the wrist, you're not playing from the arm. This is not a drop catch. I have a bunch of lessons on drop catches. I love the drop catch. This is not a drop catch. This is a articulated stroke, every single stroke. You wanna make sure that's relaxed. Play it as slow as you need to to make it relaxed. This is also a great exercise for what I call playing clean, which means you're playing your kick drum, your hats, exactly together when they're supposed to be, your snare drum and your hats exactly together when they're supposed to be. So, but it doesn't have anything difficult technically, technically speaking. Let's try it slowly, three, four. One of the keys to JD, if you watch him play, is his wrist and his fingers are just on autopilot. They're just laying this down. And he's, it's, it's almost like he's got someone else doing it. He's just like. You can tell he's thinking in the big beat. Okay, second beat, which depending on the song, you'll see JD use kind of interchangeably with the first one, is just this. Three, four. Again, big Lewis Cole thing too. You see Lewis do beats like this a lot. Lewis tends to be busier with his lead hand, but same sort of thing. Those are your two beats. We're gonna embellish them later, but you can practice going between them for right now. Three, four. Yeah. 
And that'll get you into thinking of the big beat too. And that's a big key to sounding like JD is feeling the beat the way JD does. Okay, all right. So now that you have your basic scaffold in place, it's time to add some embellishment. This is the little technique bit that's gonna make these bits more difficult, but also really crackle. And I'm talking about those diddle-littles, those 16th note ghosted notes on the snare. Let's check it out. Now let's talk about those pesky little 16th ghosted notes. And of course I mean stuff like this. So recall our first beat, which is kind of an inverse of the clocks beat that we did in the jungle lesson, which is just. Okay, so now we're gonna add those ghosted notes and it's gonna sound like this. Play a little slower. Three, four. And you can see I made kind of a part one, part two phrase with that. In the first repeat, I do a two eights on the kick. And on the last one, I only do one quarter. That's just kind of an artistic thing. Let me give you guys another variation of this, which goes like this. Three, four. Play that faster, three, four. So of course, that requires a little bit of technique. And if you find your left hand getting tired from that, don't worry, slow it down, try to make it even, stay relaxed. Your hand will mostly adapt to what you need to do. If it won't, check out this lesson Ah, if I remember to link it. <laughs> okay, remember we talked about the other beat, which is just kind of the double time funk, and that's gonna sound like this. Three, four. Super classic funk beat, right? But just half again is fast. Okay, so now if you're JD, depending on the song, you're probably gonna transition between the two. So you might have an A section that's three, four. And then you transition to and play it even faster. Let me link those two together. Hopefully you'll get kind of a JD vibe from it. Etc. You can play around with this, you can improvise with it. If there's one basic principle here, it's before an accented snare note, if you've got space, you just go. After an accented snare note, you're more likely to go and uh. So. Put that together as a composite. But then you're gonna put it together with a kick, so you're making a melody. So you wouldn't play it all. Kind of a give and take, that's the DNA of it though. Mess around with that, and that's how you get the gig. So dudes, that's the lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. This is gonna be a quickish one, I think, but little dose of drum fun, little dose of drum knowledge. And remember, you can pick up the transcription underneath the player, just click the link, it's free. Enter your email address and you will be on my mailing list. By the way, that's good. You're gonna get three more free courses I don't share on YouTube. If you wanna stay, if you want all the drum value IV infused into you, you can stay. If you wanna be a loser, you can unsubscribe anytime. I'm just kidding. I love you all, even if you unsubscribe. Dudes, it's been real. Back again super soon. In real life, I'm gonna take a couple weeks off. <laughs> I'll hopefully document it on my Instagram account, check me. My editor, Serjan, is also taking a couple weeks off, but we've shot enough stuff that you'll have a video every week. 
Please enjoy. We'll see you soon when we get back. Peace.